percentages. So we're calculating the uh, percentage increase and decrease. So hit pause, get your headings down, and when we're ready to move on, hit play again, and we move on to the starter. Okay, so here's your starter. Hit pause, attempt the questions. When you're ready, that includes you, Will. Okay, when you're ready, hit play again, and we go through them together. Right, two ninths of 45. Um, two ways of doing it. First off, we're going to do uh, divide by the denominator. So we do 45 divided by 9, which is 5. And then we do 5 times the numerator. So that gives us 10. Or, and uh, Tom, I think you like this method, 2 out of 9 of means times 45. You see, 9 goes into itself one time, 9 goes into 45 five times, 5 times 2 is 10. Okay? Either method is fine. Work out 14 out of 20 as a percentage. 14 out of 20 means 14 over 20. Percentage means out of 100. So to go from 20 to 100, we times by 5. So we've got to do the same thing to the numerator. And 14 times 5 gives us 70. 70 out of 100 means 70%. Which is the best value for money? 200 ml bottle of shampoo for 82p, 500 ml bottle of shampoo for two pounds. How can I compare them? I've got to make them the same. I'm going to compare, I've got to make them the same. Now I can make them 100 ml. To make 100 ml, I've got to divide by, so if you say 200 ml, costs 82p then 100 mil is going to cost half of that because we divide by 2 and that's going to cost 41p if you look at the second one 500 mil I'm going to do that in a different color so they don't get mixed up uh, let's go with this green here 500 mil costs two pounds or 200 pence. So 100 mil to get to 100, I've got to divide by five will cost 200 divided by uh, five 40 P. So that means the larger bottle is the best value for money. Always remember, you have to state that it's the best value for money. It's not enough just to put the answer there, 41p and 40p. You then have to state which one is the best value for money. And how long does it take the 1742, sorry, 1752 from Liverpool to get to Nottingham? Well, there's Liverpool, best footballing club in the world. Places, place where Steven Gerrard used to play. And... There's the 1752 train. There's Nottingham. And that it gets in at 2036. So if I do that question over here, because I want to do a timeline going down. So I've got 1752. I'll take that to 1800, which is going to be six, sorry, eight minutes. Then I take that to 20 hundred hours which is, how many hours is that? Two hours. And then I take that to 2036, which is 36 minutes. And if I add them together, I get two hours, and then 36 plus eight, 44 minutes. Okay, so what I want you to do now is uh, mark, mark in green, write down any corrections that you need. It's been amazing so far. We haven't had too many corrections. People have been spot on. Very good. Keep it up. And we'll have, we've got a couple more questions to go. 
Okay, so three more questions for you. Hit pause when you're ready to go through them. Hit play again. Right, what is the multiplier for a 15% decrease? Decrease. So make sure we read that question and we get, get out of it what it's trying to say to us. Decrease means it's going down in value. So if we start from 100% and it goes down 15. Oops, let's get the pen. Yeah, that's better. So if we start from 100%, we go down 15, we take away 15, leaves us with 85%. I've got to represent 85% as a decimal. 0.85 is our multiplier. Question number six. Use the conversion to change 40 kilometers into miles. That's my miles here, and that's my kilometers. 40 kilometers. So I've got to take it up till it hits the line and then take it across. That gives me 25 miles. So we can see 40 kilometers is equal to 25 miles. Name the shapes. Straightforward. It's a rectangle. One, two, three, four, five sides. Pentagon. And all the sides are equal in this triangle, so equilateral triangle. I don't know why I've put two dots there, but never mind. Right, so rag rate your starter, and um, once you've done that, we'll move on to percentages. So, percentages. There are two ways of finding a percentage increase. First way is one we've been doing for you've been doing for a long time. You find the increase and then you add it to the amount you started with. The second way, we've done this before, is to find the multiplier and apply it. Now you can use both ways. Okay, we're going to look at both of them, both for increase and decrease. Let's look at the method one with an increase. Okay. So it says increase six pounds by 5%. So we first find 5% of six pounds. Percent means out of 100. So five out of 100 times six. We can work out on the calculator. Uh, in a calculator, you do five divided by 100 and then you multiply it by 6 and that's going to give us 30 pence and what we do then we take that um, 30 pence and we add it to the 6 pounds gives us 6 pounds 30 it's nice and straightforward second method a little bit quicker is same question we find the multiplier first now the multiplier for a 5% increase, you guys know what that is. We take that 5% and add it to the 100. So it's 105%. And as a, as a decimal, it's 1.05. So we take that 1.05 and multiply it by 6 on your calculator. And you get exactly the same amount, 6 pounds 30. Much quicker than the uh, first method. What I want you to do now is hit pause. Copy both methods down into your book. When you're ready to move on, hit play again. Okay, let's have a look at um, a decrease. First method, we find a decrease and we take it away. So decrease eight pounds by 4%. So I've got to find 4% first of eight pounds. Percent means out of 100. So four divided by 100 times eight. And this is what you put in your calculator. Oops, I don't want the answer just yet. 4 divided by 100, and then we multiply that by 8. That's going to give us 32 pence. And then we add that, uh, sorry, because we're decreasing, we are decreasing, but remember that. 
we're gonna let me just highlight that decrease because we're decreasing we have to take away this time so we take 32 pence away from eight pounds that leaves us with seven pounds 68 pence good now now we're going to look at the multiplier method much much more efficient same question decrease eight pounds by four percent so we find the multiplier for a four percent decrease so it's going to be a hundred percent take away four this time and it gives us 96 what's 96 percent as a multiplier 0.96 so we now multiply eight pounds by 0.96 and it goes straight to the answer. You can use your calculator for that as well. So as before, hit pause, make your notes, copy down, them down, both methods. When you're ready, hit play again. Okay, questions for you to do. We're gonna do exercise 2E. Um, these are increases, these are percentage increases. Once you've done exercise 2E, I want you to do exercise 2F for me as well, because these are percentage decreases. Okay? All right. So, start with the increases, and then 2E, and when you're finished, do exercise 2F. Good luck. Off you go.